Hey there, Wargamers, and welcome back to another War Games Delivered video. Be sure to visit us at wargamesdelivered.com to get the paints, miniatures, and supplies used in this video, and also to refer a friend. You guys will both get a $10 discount, and with that, let's get into the video. In this video, I wanted to test out a paint scheme for my Bolt Action US Airborne Army, and also test out some of the new speed paint colors, specifically the browns, greens, and beiges. To start out, I began with Desolate Brown, which is a really nice dark beige color, and I used this to paint the entirety of his clothing. I found that with these new speed paints, using the medium to thin them down is really the way to go. Water can work, but the paints tend to dry a bit faster and don't flow as well as on the model compared to the medium. With most of these paints, I'm using about a 2 to 1 ratio with the paint to medium, and after working with them a bit, I feel like this is the best way to get awesome results. I've found that this ratio will give you a nice even tone and still create gradients within highlights and shadows if you use a heavy zenithal highlight when priming your minis. And here I'm using matte white from the acrylic line to clean up any mistakes after the previous step has dried. If you use a light gray or a tan to prime your minis, then for this step just try to recreate your base color as best as you can with acrylics. Luckily with this army, that first step was the majority of the mini, so next up we'll paint the boots and the stock of the gun using Satchel Brown, and this color is an awesome dark red brown. Each of the new speed paints have the generic color that they are on the side of the bottle, so you know what to expect a bit before you put paint to the model. And some of the bits of the gun are tricky to reach, so just take your time and cover up any mistakes with matte white again if you need to. I always have a dollop of this on my wet palette, so it's convenient and quick to fix any patch-ups if I need to. And for anyone interested, we do have a pre-order for the Speed Paint 2.0 Mega Set available now on our website. The set releases on the 22nd of April, so there will be plenty of time to get your orders in. Check out the description for a link to the pre-order page. And now we can move over to a lighter reddish brown for the backpack and the pouches on his back here. He also has a small pouch on his helmet that we will paint with this color as well. Apologies for the shot being a little out of focus here. The process is essentially the same for all of our previous speed paint steps. Uh, that is another reason the speed paints are great. They're very easy to use across the range and the 2.0s all have similar consistency. Trying out a new paint in this shot, I wanted to try out one of the darker skin tones included in the Speed Paint Mega Set. Using Warrior Skin, we're looking to paint the hands and face with this color. And in this shot, you can see how with the medium, you really have a lot of working time with the paint. You can really control how the mini is going to look by how the Speed Paint dries, and as long as you use good brush control, you can add or remove shading to certain areas before they dry. And for any new viewers on the channel, thanks for checking us out. Be sure to check out the top link in the description below to enter the giveaway that is active with this video. We have giveaways with all of our videos uh, the week that they premiere, so be sure to subscribe to get notifications on new videos. And now we'll switch over to Gunner Camo for a dark green on his helmet. And any leftover pouches on the mini you can go ahead and cover up with this color. This paint seems like it would be great for vehicles as well. And again, all of the speed paints that I'm using in this video are included in the Speed Paint Mega Set 2.0. Uh, again, uh, you can go ahead and check out the pre-order for that on our website down below in the link in the description. And obviously from this step you can do a bit of dry brushing to bring out some more detail or some layering. Um, I kind of just kept it simple and just used the speed paints here. I'm still kind of experimenting with them and trying out different things uh, in terms of highlighting and uh, shading. Um, right now I just kind of want to see what the speed paints can do on their own. And so for that we will just keep it with the speed paints in this video. 
And once that step is dry, we have one final step here moving over to the Speed Paint Metallics. We'll use Broadsword Silver to paint all of the metallic areas on the gun. This paint looks great as it is, but I've found it can really be enhanced with a wash and a dry brush. I've been using the Broadsword Silver lately as my go-to metallic base coat, and it really helps speed up the process instead of switching over to acrylics every time you need to paint metallics. All of the uh, speed paint metallics work well, but I tend to thin them down a little bit less uh, with the medium than the other speed paints. I feel like this has given me better shine and shading with these paints. Uh, also, a quick dry brush on these areas after they're dry could really go a long way. All in all, the new speed paints have been a very refreshing change of pace for me. Having such a large range to choose from really gives you, as the painter, a lot to explore and works well on multiple types of minis. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more painting tutorials. And also be sure to check out the top link in the description for the giveaway attached to this video. Thanks again guys, and happy wargaming.